So when you clicked on this video, I'm sure that you had two things in mind. First off, saying that the Switch will become the best selling console of all time is beyond far-fetched, and the Switch has not been out long enough to make a prediction like this. And to be honest, I totally agree with you. Yes, the Switch hasn't been even out for a year now, which is kinda insane. And becoming the best selling console of all time is a challenging task, but that's not why I'm making this video. This video exists for one simple reason. Let's just have a discussion about this topic because it's interesting to talk about. So when it comes to becoming the best selling game console in history, there's a lot of things that you need to do right. To start us off, Nintendo has to increase people's interest in the Switch. I'm sure you know that everyone including me has beaten to death the fact that the Switch is a great console with tons of potential. And Nintendo is already doing a good job with the Switch's marketing, but if they want to become a worldwide phenomenon similar to something like the PS2, they need to step up their game once again. If Nintendo created a huge series of Switch ads with a backing that show off its portability and its awesome game lineup, Nintendo would have this part locked down. Next up is games. Now I know that Nintendo already made a huge first party promise with the Switch with games like Metroid Prime 4, Pokemon Stars, etc. But although that's great and all, I don't know if that's PS2 selling status. Building on top of that, another thing that is incredibly important for the Switch is to have more third party games. Specifically, games like GTA 5, Call of Duty, Blocked and Loaded, Roblox, you know, that kind of stuff. Something that isn't really a need as well, but is something that would definitely benefit the Switch, is a significantly bigger indie game promise. Now yes, the Switch already has some great indie games on it like Celeste for example, but I think that the more indie games Nintendo has, the better. Also Nintendo, it might be a good idea to actually treat your indie developers well. Just a thought. <clears throat> uh, anyway. It's really hard to make a console that will reach PS2-like status without having some unique features to it. This is probably one of the more controversial categories here, but I still think that it's important. Yes, Nintendo has HD Rumble and Nintendo Labo, but like 90% of people aren't interested in all that when something is shadowing right over them, the Switch's portability. What I'm saying is, if Nintendo can add more features to the Switch that have the same power as something like the Switch's portability, they will be much more successful. And finally, the last major thing that Nintendo needs to provide to outpace their competition and to officially claim the crown of having the best selling console again, is actually accessories. I am very aware that there is no perfect game console, and the Switch is definitely not one. But a good way to even out those flaws is to add peripherals to it. Now like the indie developer thing, this isn't one of the must-haves. But I still think that with the Switch's current flaws, if Nintendo wants to break 155 million consoles, they need to fix some of the Switch's current issues. A good example of an accessory that I would like would be an improved Switch dock with a rubber-like texture on the inside. If that dock, say, was less bulky and could properly upseal games to 4K without it looking like an N64 game, then that would be a great accessory. And that's only one example. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different combinations that Nintendo could use on the Switch. Now again, the Switch outselling the PS2 and becoming the best selling game console of all time is unlikely. But do you think that the Switch has the potential to become the best selling console ever? Let me know in the comments and I'll try to reply back to you. I know that this is quite a far-fetched topic, but like I said, this is just intended to be a random discussion. But even though I said that, someone in the comments is probably still gonna try and call me out. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then I would appreciate it if you shared it on social media, but that's always up to you. Leave your thoughts on this video in the comments, and see you.